<clears throat> Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Um, today I'm doing a bit of um, experiment here um, with um, Apple Pencil and also with Blender Grease Pencil. So I haven't I haven't done this, but it's just a quick test. So the idea is we are gonna be using Grease Pencil on top of a 3d mesh and we're gonna paint grease pencil and then try to add some kind of a random detailing um, so as you know um, you can create grease pencil by going to shift a and adding a grease pencil you can pick blank or the one that's already have stroke or with the, the one with monkey head let's pick blank so grease pencil in Blender 2.80 and up is actually very advanced. You can have layers and all kind of style of pencil strokes. The placement of the grease pencil is actually very, very important. Normally it's placed at the 3D cursor by default or like um, on, the, on the plane, the 3D plane. However, we're gonna try to draw on on the surface so okay like i said origin 3d cursor surface or stroke stroke placement can be on top of another stroke we're gonna choose surface offset you can offset or not keep it as it is and you can actually start drawing grease pencil so by default it seems to give a a white color stroke let's change that do we need a material okay i'll create a material now it's uh have this kind of black color stroke and you can see as if i'm just using my mouse to draw we're getting strokes that's actually on top of susan head and of course this is this is live and it's actually um really really powerful if i hide suzanne the stroke is 3d so let's uh let's jump into apple uh into ipad and then start using the stroke here using the apple pencil um you can see the stroke is a bit lighter if i press harder ah okay yeah, it's a bit stronger. And uh, Suzanne, we need Suzanne, but we probably don't need to see it. We change the visibility into wireframe. Oh. So Suzanne. Wire. Okay. That's probably. Okay, don't worry about that could be a bug but anyway I'm gonna kind of randomly create stroke here um, let's say file save as GP monkey save <clears throat> I want to have full screen and fully immersive environment okay nice just painting strokes if you go outside, uh, I think the strokes will kind of leaving trail. So I like that kind of very loose kind of ways. We can add details like to this monkey head. Let me try like go a little bit crazy. Um, let's rotate around. See, I'm using my two finger. Uh, very nice, very nice. And rotate again. Let's see, maybe the ear have some kind of... Uh... Robotic details and maybe headbands. We don't have anything down there yet. The stroke, actually, the one I'm using. Oh yeah, I forgot. Grease pencil stroke by default um, is only this 
kind of brush but it looks quite nice file save you can change the stroke if you turn on the tool settings draw pencil there is a draw pencil draw noise i like draw noise a lot because even if you don't have a even if you don't have a like a stylus if you are just using mouse you're gonna get this nice ink kind of look kind of like a imprecise and there's a bit of jig uh, like a noise that goes through the stroke so it's very natural so let's go goes back to the iPad so I'm using the ink the ink stroke it's very natural rotate do something with the eyes add some crazy detailing mustache beard so we can go outside so it's pretty crazy strokes that i'm using here yeah glasses nose pretty oh okay if i'm using um if i can export this to sketchfab later you can see the, the final result so i'm adding really weird marking like maybe tattoo on the face of this monkey so let's go like you can go very loose and the strokes kind of goes outside imagine like well you painting on there all of them are just stroke okay now i'm done i'm done back into blender whoa cool i thought it was pressing file save and i will just disconnect from the ipad just in case um actually i shouldn't disconnect because i'm recording on the ipad So I'm actually recording on the iPad, I forgot. Okay, now back on the iPad. Uh, it's flickering a little bit, I can see that's pretty annoying. Okay, now it's back. File, save. With this grease pencil strokes, we can actually turn it into real 3D mesh. Um, so that's one thing. We can hide Suzanne. We already have the strokes, pretty random. With this grease pencil, we can actually use modifier and kind of reduce and simplify the stroke. See? So that's actually really good. Let's reduce it a little bit. File, save as. Um, maybe use adaptive and reduce it. After we reduce it, after we reduce it with grease pencil, select it. F3 and then convert grease pencil into into one of these polygon curve I think I'm, I'm gonna use path so now we have a curve if I'm not wrong I need to do something here so grease pencil selected select the object Play. Where is it? Stroke. Um, three D layer fitboard. Oh, where's the curve? Okay, that's the curve. Now I'm actually selecting the curve. Oh, okay, I was selecting the. I didn't select it in the object mode, that's why. So now we can see the curve, right? It's 3D. We can now turn on the geometry, extrude it, and maybe use, you can offset it, actually offset. You can do offset in both way. That's really powerful. Uh, turn on the depth 
and whoops too much too much 0 0.02 resolution maybe just one or zero and this 0 0.03 maybe 0 0 0.002 okay that's more like our strokes okay so this is what we have from Grease Pencil, from original Suzanne, we have this detailing, crazy random detailing um, that we can actually use. Let's look at it using Matcap. Um, pick the basic one. Create cavity. Okay, so that's that's what we have. Turn off Grease Pencil, File, Save. I like this result. If we convert it into Mesh, maybe we're gonna get a interesting result. Um, I'm gonna create a duplicate and then offset it. Create another duplicate and offset it again in the in the other side. Now we have like crazy random detail Suzanne. You can randomize the extrude and taper. There's a lot of option here, a bevel, make different resolutions. 0 0.008 or 0 0.004 or 5. Yeah, that's some crazy robotic Suzanne. It's pretty random. It's like cables goes around Suzanne, but it's pretty interesting, right? So if you select everything and then maybe convert it into mesh and then join them and then use the Foxel remesher, you might get something. I haven't tried. It might crash. Control J. I'm joining all this mesh. So now we have a single mesh with all these details, Suzanne, and remesh it. Foxel remesh. It's going to get so confused because it has so many details. Ah. Undo that. Let's go higher with Foxel. 0 0.05. Wait a little bit. I cannot wait until I can add, maybe make some kind of details. Oh yeah, that's really messy. Zero point, I'll go 0 0.005, Foxel. Smooth, normal, yeah, okay, smooth. It might crash, I don't know, but. If it works, then we can go into sculpt mode and adding details look look at this now we have something that's kind of something from akira akira um animations anime there's some weird things there like extra vertices vertices that you want to get rid of but everything else looks pretty solid it's a it's kind of like a something you will find at the junkyard and yeah, like the mix, like a, like the mix of everything basically, like all the juncture, the metal pieces. I think it's looking quite nice, so I quite like this. It's really really heavy. Maybe you have to reduce the, the resolution, using decimate. But, I like the details. Looks pretty cool. So that's simply by using, random strokes using grease pencil and yeah this is what you get i guess you will totally enjoy creating something like this yeah maybe if you are working on akira the movie whoever you are working on this movie maybe this is the method that you can use to to have that uh that kind of look for environment maybe it's gonna work just need to add proper materials of course all right 
Hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.